Hey guys, we all use the Messages or iMessages app to communicate with friends, family, or other people. And there are definitely times where you want to save that special conversation between you and a loved one. Some people also want to save their text conversations as a way to use them as evidence in court, for example, or some other legal dispute. But as you may know, there's no functionality to actually download, export, save any text messages inside of the iMessage app itself. So in this video, I'm going to showcase a few different ways that you can actually download these text messages for yourself from your iPhone. So let's get started. So the first message method's actually going to be using a message transfer software for your iPhone. There's a computer app called iPhone Message Transfer that can help you save your text or iMessages in different formats like HTML, PDF, text to Word on your computer. You can use it to save hundreds of different messages all in a few minutes. It will save all your messages as well as all the important meta information like date and timestamps, which make it pretty useful for the people using to save these messages for evidence reasons. This app can be downloaded from both iPhone and PC websites, and they're both down below in the description. All right, guys, so we can see inside of here, inside of the iPhone message transfer software, we can see we have all of the messages here as soon as we plug in our device. So I have my device connected via the USB-C cable connected to my computer. And all we got to do is click on a random uh, thing. So let's just see one of these random spam messages. All we got to do is we can print these, we can save these in whatever format. So we can save them in HTML, save them in PDF, ANTS text picture all that stuff and that saves the information and we could also print this off go to next literally pick this one right here we can check the print preview wpdf and go like that and we can see this is what we'll print off and it has it's super cool literally has the date the time the message itself the number all that stuff and we're able to literally just press print print it off and that would be if you wanted to print it instead of sharing it to someone um the best way would to be just to email it to someone or email it to yourself that way you have a record of it uh, but you, like i sh just showed you guys you're able to save it in different formats so that's super useful all right and for example if i wanted to save one of these messages all i have to do is click on it go to copy and then i could go to save save and then from there i literally just click on the number that i want to save go to next go to save and then from there i can save it to my desktop now it'll actually open up inside here and all i got to do is open it up and we can see that we have an html file that will upload which has timestamps, date stamps as well as the message as well as the sending number so that's super useful that we're able to do that now if i wanted to just save a few messages on my iphone the best and most simple solution would be just to screenshot them now this is super simple you guys probably already know how to do this but you get your iphone you find the text message and you press the volume up button as well as the power button boom screenshot just like that super simple you guys if you have an iphone you don't know how to screenshot that's probably a bigger issue uh but yeah that is how you do that and if for some reason you have an older iphone with touch id you just need to press the home button as well as the button on the top at the same time to screenshot it now the way that you would share these is you would go to your photos email them off to yourself or save them to your apple cloud files and you would literally just create a folder inside of there. Now, even though this method is super quick and easy, it's not suitable if you want to save a large number of messages, that's for sure. Now, if you want to save, let's say more than 10 to 15 messages, this option is not going to be your best friend at all because you're just going to have to take multiple screenshots, which is going to take tons of time and effort versus if you use the software like the one I showed, you'd be able to print off all of them or save all of them with timestamps all in one simple document. Now, method three is going to be forwarding these text messages to your email. Now to do this super simple, all we got to do is long press on one of these messages, go to more, go to the forward button. And then what we would do is we would forward them to someone else. So we just like blah, 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 type in someone else's number and you could just forward it to your email simply just through this. Now, this content will all be saved without meta information like time and date stamps. So be aware of that. This method is not going to be very useful if you're looking to use it for legal purposes. But yeah, guys, those are the three best methods you can use to save iPhone iMessages on your device. So yeah, guys, those are the three best methods, in my opinion, that you could be using to save iPhone iPhone iMessages off your device. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer some of them for you guys. If you guys want to check out the software I use, for example, it's going to be at the top of the description for you guys to check out. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.